I know Overmeyer years ago, he, I think, and people, we know more now than we did 20, 30 years ago. And he would say, I know there's an argument one time at Camp Perry on the line. I wasn't there for it. John relayed it to me. And, um, you know, Boots goes, the five R barrels, I don't know if he said they were more accurate or they were better. And then Mid Tompkins goes, Boots, a five R's got nothing on a good four groove. And what I tell people is the style and number of grooves for the most part has got no bearing on accuracy. It's got no bearing on barrel life. And that's what I always used to say until about August of last year. I do believe the 5R rifling helps fight bullet failure. And bullet failure is more common in the smaller calibers. Call it 6.5 and smaller. The lands, because you have an odd number of, if you picture a five-pointed star, the lands don't directly oppose one another. So it'll distort and upset the bullet jacket less. And that alone, I do believe, does help fight bullet failure. Some people say the 5R barrels clean easier because the patching trying to get down to that hard 90 degree corner where conventional um, rifling where the lands meet the grooves and stuff. Eh, the way I clean my barrels, I'm going to tell you, I can't tell a difference. Um, but I do believe it does help fight bullet failure. And there's a lot of things that can cause bullet failure besides just the bullets themselves being a problem. There's a lot of things that cause bullet failure. But last fall, there was a test done and there was um, two different times it was ran in the same month. Every bullet fired was photographed and I got to see the pictures of stuff. I haven't been given the okay to disclose pictures and data, some of the data and stuff like that or who who did the test and who it was for. But what was interesting was, and I didn't know about the test until after the fact, we ended up making all the barrels. I think there was five 5R rifled barrels, and there was like six or seven conventional Sammy spec six groove barrels made. All the same caliber, they tested like four different bullets. What was interesting in that test was, every bullet fired out of the six groove barrels had a burr on the side of the jacket or on the side of the bearing surface of the bullet, whether it was a solid bullet or a, a match match type bullet or a high end hunting type bullet. Every bullet out of the six groove conventional barrels had a burr on the side of the jacket. When I saw the pictures, I asked how big was this burr, and they said it was big as big as a thirty second of an inch. So the next question that came out was. And I should probably back up a second. When they finished the test, so it was 10 round groups for accuracy. The first test was 160 shots fired. The second test was also 160 shots fired. I know the first test took them 11 hours to photograph every bullet, record all the data and everything. They said in the grand scheme of things, now the accuracy part of it was only done at 200 yards. It was under controlled conditions indoors. He said, in the grand scheme of things, the 5R barrels, accuracy-wise, did outshoot the 6 groove, but by very little. So he said, you look at the paper, and it, you kind of say, eh, whatever. 